This is Christopher with Johnja.net. Across from me is Zachary Quinto. Hello. Yes. Star of Heroes, the evil Siler. Or maybe not evil, mis- maybe just misunderstood. <laughs> Pretty evil, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to touch on, I was reading your bio, and I, I'm always curious how someone gets their start in acting. I'm even more curious how some how an 11-year-old, how a young child decides that uh, that's something they really want to do. It was a real process. I was... Um I was in school, and one of my teachers sent home an article with my with me mm-hmm. to give to my mom that was about this performance group that was having auditions in Pittsburgh, where I grew up, and we didn't know any... I'd never performed before. I had never really done anything other than, in like, music class in school or something, so... Right. Um, we decided to go to these auditions, and that was how it happened. It was a fluke. And really? It, and if it hadn't been for this teacher who mm-hmm. thought that my personality combined with my musical inclination at the time right. uh, was maybe something to explore then I probably wouldn't have So, well, and I went to the audition I got absorbed into this group and worked with them it was like a performance group for about five years and then started studying acting as a result of that and then got more serious about it as I got into high school mm-hmm. and, uh, and then it took me by storm certainly did a lot of uh, different roles even when you made the jump to screen um, uh, guest starring roles, a few recurring roles and everything, but uh, were you prepared when you took the role of Styler on Heroes? Uh, did you have any idea that it would be this, that Heroes would end up being this phenomena? Um, I got the job right as the first season was airing, so mm-hmm. I did know, yeah, because I didn't, I wasn't a part of it for the, you Oh, know, that's right, that's true. I came in episode eight, and they were shooting episode eight when they started airing episode one, so for me it was uh, a clear... You couldn't uh, ask for trajectory, a better... Trajectory, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I couldn't have asked to come into it at a better time and to be a part of it uh, from the beginning, um, but yet not from the beginning before they knew it wasn't going to be a huge hit. So right. So, well, so I had you, all of the benefits you, and none of the stress. Right, basically. you couldn't ask like, for anything yeah. better. Mm, totally. Let me think about that. A role on a hit show. No, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really exciting. You're about to, uh, and you are taking on one of the... Uh, biggest roles in television and movies now with the new J.J. Abrams uh, Star Trek mm-hmm. you're taking over the role of Spock that's that's yeah. that had to be a little daunting I would think um, it really wasn't daunting it's strange no. it felt so it felt so right in a weird way and I, and I found out that they were doing the, the movie right as my episodes of Heroes were about to air mm-hmm. so like the timing of it was just so precise and so specific and um, it just made so much sense and then on top of that to be making it with these people who are you know of the most imaginative people in Hollywood today and uh, to have Leonard be involved I mean it, it really didn't feel daunting it, it was strange to me like even at Comic-Con last summer when we went down and, and announced that I'd be playing the role and there were like 6,500 people or something in this in this auditorium and I never felt overwhelmed, you know. I felt like I was uh, very well supported by the creative energy behind this project and uh, the people involved are people that I'd long hoped to work with, so. Great. Um, Knowing how the the longevity of the Star Trek franchise, I mean, are, are you prepared for, you know, revisiting the role of Spock in the future or? I've been made to be prepared for this. <laughs> you know, I feel like uh, from this point on, Spock will be a part of my career as an actor. Mm-hmm. I don't anticipate my career as an actor to stop now that I've played this role. And I get that question a lot, like, oh, now you're playing Spock. Like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, well, I'm going to keep doing other things that excite me and challenge me and challenge my audience and excite my audience as well. And, um, you know, I've I've been very fortunate to be so warmly embraced by the sci-fi community and now more specifically the Star Trek community and that means a great deal to me Um, but that's my career as an actor isn't limited to that genre or that realm and uh, so I'm now excited to go off and explore the territories and uh, and and play other roles and do other things as well thank you very much for uh, taking the time to talk with us no problem thank Thank you. you very much